Jesus always surprises everyone, even though he's the maker of all the planets and galaxies in the universe. Surprise! He came to earth as a little baby. And even though he's the king of kings, he wasn't born in a big beautiful palace. Instead, surprise, he was born in a little stable where the smelly animals lived. When Jesus grew up and started preaching and teaching, he surprised people all the time. One of his favourite ways to surprise people was by telling them stories about what God is really like. Some people thought God was always angry some people thought God was a trickster who liked to make bad things happen. And some people thought God didn't care about them at all. Of course, Jesus knew exactly what God was like. So he told a story about God's love in a way that would surprise everybody, even you. The Servant Who Waited by Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus told a story about servants waiting for their big fancy master to come home from a great big wedding. It was their job to watch and wait, with candles burning bright. The servants had to be ready for the moment the master would return. But that wasn't easy. When the master was away, the servants kept very busy. There are dishes to wash and animals to feed, and clothes to clean, and pipe organs to polish. And when all that work is done, the servants still need to be ready. When the master comes home, they will serve him midnight snack, fluff his pillows, and bring him his best robe and read him a bedtime story. But until then, they wait, and they wait, and wait, until... Finally, the master returns, but the servants are in for a big surprise. Come rest, says the master. You must be tired from waiting up for me. Come and sit down at my table, and I will serve you. I know just what you need. The end. In Jesus' story, the master loves his servants so much that he puts on the servant's clothes and he serves them instead. What kind of master would love like that? What kind of God would choose to be a servant? Surprise! Jesus would. He is the great master who serves. Like the master in the story, Jesus surprised everyone by using his power to serve. He suffered and died on the cross so that we could live with him forever. But Jesus still had one more very big. Surprise! He came alive again. Then he went back to his Father in heaven and sent his Holy Spirit to stay with us till he returns. No one knows the day or the hour when Jesus will return. It could be at any minute. But just like the servants in his story, we have plenty to do while we wait. There are hungry people to serve, lonely people to care for, friends to share with and enemies to forgive. And it all begins with loving Jesus, the great master who serves. He knows what we need because he is what we need. So get ready, the master is coming.